Good morning YouTube. So with today's video, let's dive into a brand that I have really neglected over the years. So in 2021, I'm going to try and play catch up a little bit. Not like how I did with Bond number no. 9, but I will be doing a few more reviews from this brand because it's a brand that it is a niche brand, but it's a brand that's fantastic. And today we're going to be talking about Atelier Cologne's Cafe Tuberosa, which was launched in 2017 and is classed as a floral fragrance. I myself would class it as a gourmand floral fragrance, but that's just me. Note breakdown according to Fragrantica, top notes are going to be Guatemalan cardamom, Sicilian bergamot, and, or sorry, Calabrian bergamot and Sicilian mandarin with the Midian rose oil, Indian tuberose, and coffee, and the base is cacao pod and Madagascar vanilla. So what do I get out of this scent here? Picture this, if you are a coffee drinker, I'm not, but if you are an avid coffee drinker, this is a fragrance that you're really going to appreciate. This is pretty much sitting in a cafe, a coffee house with lots of tubros in the background while you're sipping your roasted black coffee because that's what this is. This coffee is like a roasted black coffee, but throw in a little bit of that Guatemalan cardamom or just cardamom along with a shot of vanilla and a sprinkle of cacao or chocolate. That's what this fragrance is. This fragrance is beautiful. It's very authentic. It is unisex. So I do think it dives a little bit more so into the feminine territory, but someone who is like a metrosexual, which really does not exist anymore, but like a modern day gentleman could pull this one off quite easily. And I think that would appreciate this one quite so. But if you're into the artistry and to like scent memories, this is also a fragrance that you will truly appreciate. This is best suited for the fall and winter time. I would think that probably more so during the winter time when it's a little bit colder because of that roasted black coffee. Versatility is very good. However, I don't really see this being a student fragrance unless you're someone who is in college, someone who has a little bit of money because Atelier does come with a bit of a price tag, but I would think that someone who, who is in college, who likes to dress up, who has particular tastes, who likes a little bit of that refinement, but also who is a little bit more ahead in life because this, I don't want to say it comes across as a little bit mature. I just for some reason don't see like someone in their early 20s liking this, but if they do, then they have the mentality of someone who is older. Performance six to seven hours and projection was more so on the mild to moderate side. Price tag for this one here, I believe I saw this one on Fragrance Buy for $130 Canadian, and that's 100 ml, which is a really, really good price for what you're paying. Wife's thoughts on this one? Well, wife is an avid coffee drinker. I make her coffee every single morning, but not like, like this. Not like your Starbucks kind, but she does like her Starbucks, or if you're from Canada, she prefers second cup because this fragrance, she gets lots of that black, dark roasted coffee. She does get the tuberose, which she does like tuberose, and she also gets that vanilla. So she does like this one quite a bit. So my final thoughts of Atelier Cologne's Cafe Tuberosa. I was not expecting much with this fragrance. I thought that the note breakdown was going to be a little bit too feminine as tuberose is in the name. Two Bros is a main note. I, I'm not a big fan of that note. I find it really comes across as a very feminine note. But with the roasted black coffee and that cardamom, it really, uh, it kind of like mans it up a little bit. I'm not one to wear overly feminine scents. I just don't feel comfortable. I don't suffer from masculine toxicity or I'm not a beta bitch as some people have called me. But generally, I don't feel comfortable wearing fragrances such as this, but this one does smell incredible. It's gonna have scent memories for a number of people out there. This is aromatherapy. This is relaxation in a bottle. If you are very much a coffee lover and you love coffee-based fragrances, and my scent of the day is actually Mugler's Perk Coffee, believe it or not, good scent. You're gonna like this one, guarantee. My rating out of five is gonna to have to be a four out of five. This one was not a disappointment and I'm glad that I got this one. I think I got this from a friend who sent me a few ateliers as gifts, but this was a great gift. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one and I'm gonna be wearing it this winter time. We're at the end of January, but I'm gonna pull this one out a few more times in February. This is just a fantastic fragrance that I highly recommend that you look into, especially if you're into tuberose and coffee fragrances. If you're a co an avid coffee drinker, if you're a caffeine addict, 
this is one you're gonna have to look into. That's my quick little video of Atelier Cologne's Cafe Tuberosa. If you like this very video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Any reviews that I've done from this brand, and there are only four, there was five, but now there are four because one I did delete, they will be in the description below. And as I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing a few more reviews from this brand as well. So guys, thank you for your time, take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.